My name is Sheo Fakoridi, and um, I'm the Commissioner for Youth and Sport of your state. And what we do, you know, in the Ministry of Youth and Sports is um, primarily to see uh, to the affairs, you know, and the engagement of the youth of the states, especially when it borders on um, their, you know, welfare, on their empowerment, and of course, you know, sport development um, in the state. So, I mean, think about, you know, do you think about sports? That's the primary responsibility of this ministry. Uh, well, I think uh, I would say that uh, there are quite um, a number, you know, um, of them because, um, I mean, you know, when I came in in 2019 and, you know, I had to go through everything that has been happening in, in the ministry, you know, looking into the archives, you know, files and records and all. So, uh, for me, I would say one of those, you know, beautiful times uh, is um, uh, I remember vividly that, you know, myself and His Excellency, we had, you know, a discussion about how, you know, we should host the National Sports Festival. And then His Excellency told me to, that, okay, have we really considered what it takes? You know, we can't just say we want to host the National Sport Festival. That, I mean, in terms of facilities and a number of other things, you know, to put um, in place, you know, if we really want to bid for it. And he said, let us think about it. And, you know, later we had a discussion, you know, about it. And then, I mean, before I know it, His Excellency, you know, um, uh, told me, you know, to come one fateful day. And, you know, we had a meeting with the contractor who eventually handled the uh, Lake Salami, you know, project and and other um, sports facilities in the state and you know for me it was um, quite you know surreal because I mean this is something that I mean it's a big project. Adam Sibale Konsalami Stadium has been there for about 33 years without no new um, structure added or facility added to that place so but you know His Excellency you know um, really taking interest and making sure that that project happen it's something it's a big deal you know for me uh, as the commissioner for youth and sport and you know today i think you know there's nobody who sees a domestic bar and that would not appreciate the level of work you know done you know there so uh for me it's one of those you know proud you know moments that i mean this happened you know when you know i'm you know privileged to serve as um, commissioner for uh, the states, you know, in the Ministry of Youth and Sport. Another one is when our Delhi shooting stars, you know, got that promotional ticket. Anybody with the level of sport will understand, you know, what it means for shooting stars to play in the elite league, the MPFL. So, I mean, there are a number of them, you know, really. So, but I would say that, I mean, uh, not to, you know, mention so many, I'll take this, you know, too as one of my favorites. Ah, so you see, uh, His Excellency uh, Engineer Olusheyi Abdiadu Makinde is um, one man that I really, really admire, you know, so much. I mean, from afar, before my appointment, I've always, you know, followed him very, very, very closely. And I just felt like there was something different about, you know, this uh, man. I remember the very first time I reached out to him, it was on LinkedIn. And, you know, I mean, he responded, you know, to me, I think, you know, barely after two hours that I sent, you know, the message, you know, to him. And, you know, when this opportunity came, you know, to serve, I was like, oh, wow, this is beautiful. This is somebody that I've always admired from afar. And, you know, working, having the opportunity and the privilege to work with him closely mean, meant a lot, you know, to me. And, I mean, today, to the glory of God, um, when I still see him, I mean, what, what really strikes me about um, His Excellency is uh, a number of times that, you know, my perhaps be in the ESCO, you know, meeting, I just sit down, you know, and I just watch. I mean, there are a number of times because uh, when, you know, there are different, you know, debates, you know, arguments about this, about that, but the way His Excellency, like, you know, with his calm demeanor, you know, like, orchestrates that, you know, um, the direction of the meeting, it strikes me, you know, a lot. And with so much wisdom. I mean, I've, I mean, it's rare, you know, to actually see men who actually have that level of, you know, um, calmness, that level of, you know, wisdom 
and that level of you know civility to actually um, go through and undo and administer um, issues like that. So I, I feel that it's, uh, His Excellency is really a blessing, you know, for us in the states, particularly for we the youths. I've been working with leaders, but I don't think I've seen anyone who has really, you know, who has been very deliberate about building, you know, the young people. I mean, at 27, I became the youngest, you know, commissioner in the history of Nigeria. And with that decision that His Excellency took, he gave other leaders, other, you know, leaders in different states that confidence to be able to say that, okay, you know what, I'm giving this appointment to a youth. And to the glory of God, this is about, you know, um, three years in active service and you know I, I, I I'm proud to say that you know we are representing the youth constituency well and you know this is I look forward to a 2023 where other leaders you know in different states who have that you know I look forward to seeing more youths being represented and I know it's going to happen because a lot of people now want to copy his excellency to do you know stuff but it's a good way it's a good copy if I'm going to say say that so